Hi friends, uh, in this tutorial I am going to be covering the PowerShell uh, for uh, the if or the conditional statements for the PowerShell. So before I get started, I just want to say that if you have any questions or suggestions, recommendations, feel free to put it in the comment section below. So let's get started. So in here, uh, if we click, let's open PowerShell. So once we have uh, created PowerShell, let's move to the desktop. And currently we don't have anything in here. So let's create a file called Notepad. And let's say conditional.ps1. So do you want to create the file? Yes. Now, for this tutorial, let's create the um, variable called temperature. It is a variable called temperature and let's assign a value to it. For example, in here we are assigning 90 to it. So what this means is that we have a variable called temperature. And currently it holds the value of 90. So the first thing that we are going to do is create a if statement and we are saying that check for the temperature. So in here we are saying that if temperature is LE0. So what this statement does is that it checks if the temperature, which in this case we have assigned the value of 90 to it, is less than or equal to 0. And let's open a block. And in here we are saying that if it is less than or equal to 0, then output it's impossible or and then we are killing else if else if temperature temperature is less than or equal to thirty two. So what it does is that we are checking in here that if the temperature is less than or equal to 32, if it is, then print out it is freezing. So in here we can see that it says it's freezing. So we are saying if the temperature is less than or equal to zero, print impossible. But if it's less than or equal to 32, print is freezing. And let's create another else if statement. In here we are saying if temperature is less than or equal to 50 type in this time you are saying type in it's good so if the temperature is less than or equal to 50 print it is good and the last we are saying that if the temperature else sorry is at the end we are saying else and this time you are putting in hot so what it does is that it checks if the temperature in this case is 90 if it's less than 0 it says print it's impossible if it's between 0 and 32 it says print it's freezing and if it's between 50 and 32 print it is good otherwise print hot so let's save it let's come in here and uh, let's Check our execution policy. It is restricted, so we are set execution policy and restricted. Yes. Oh man. Okay, I'm not logged in as root. So let me go in here and type in PowerShell. Right click on it and then run as administrator yes we want to run it as administrator and cdc users uh, admin desktop and dir in here we can see our file so let's the set execution policy to unrestricted so that we can run this script yes so if you say get execution policy we can see that it is unrestricted so we can now we can run our 
condition so it's saying it is impossible let's open it notepad so in here it is 90 so what it does is that uh, if it is greater than 50 well it create this statement if it's less than or equal to if it's in between 50 and 32 print it is freezing otherwise print if it is um, if it is between 50 and 32 print it is good otherwise print hot we can add another statement in here like let's say we are saying print this another else if and this time you are saying if temperature is less than or equal to 90 do this so this time you are saying warm it is warm so let's do the formatting and let's save it this time if you run it so this time it's saying if it is less than zero type an impossible uh, sorry print impossible if it's between 32 and zero print it is freezing if it's between 50 and 32 print it is good and if it's between 90 and 50 print it is good sorry print it swarm otherwise print hot so currently we have not 90 90 is equal to or less than uh, 90 and it's been between 90 and 50 so it should print it swarm so let's come in here run this script again you can see that it says why is it saying it is impossible Let's open it temperature is less than or equal to 90 it should be warm let's change it to 80 save it let's come in here and run it again this time in here it's again saying it is impossible so let me check it again Sorry, the variables are not correct. It should be temperature. Temperature. So, save it. Run it again. Not this one. Run it again. This. And it says in here now, it's, we can see that it says it's warm. Why does it say warm? Because it's 80. 80 is between. 8, 90 and 100 and 90 and 50 so it says it is warm so if you put in something like let's say 40 so 40 is between 50 and 32 it should print this message it is good so let's put in let's make it 40 let's come in here save it I run it so it says it is good because it is between 32 and 51 so if you type in something like less than 32 let's type in 20 so let's make this 20 and let's save it so in here we have saved it so let's run it again this time it's saying it is freezing why is it saying it's freezing because it's between 32 and 0 and if we put in an outrageous amount like 110 so 110 does not come within any of these ranges so what uh, if it doesn't come any of this within a range of any of this way within the range of any of these uh, values in here what it does is that it jumps to the else part of the statement so it should print hot so in here we can see that it says hot so this is for this tutorial guys if you have any questions recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one